if you get chewed out a lot, you're going to have to develop a thick skin, especially if that chewing out is literal and the chewers are piranhas. Down in the Amazon, a fish called the arapaima shares the water with those notoriously bitey little fish, but it never gives them a second thought. And that's because the arapaima has a natural defense mechanism, a super tough skin that not even a piranha's knife-like teeth can penetrate. Mark Myers has been studying the arapaima's armor. He is a distinguished professor of materials science at USC San Diego. That's where we reached him. Uh, Professor Myers, uh, having seen one photograph of this thing, I got to tell you, this is one ugly fish. Can you describe what it looks like? It's actually a beautiful fish. The beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I was going to say. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a very strange fish, and the colors are, are, are fantastic. It has iridescent colors, reddish and, and, and silvery. But it is a prehistoric fish, and it's what we call a living fossil. It has lungs. It has to come up for air every uh, 20 minutes. And it has the tail. If you look at that tail, is is not shaped like a fish. It's, like, it's shaped like one of these prehistoric fish that we see in books sometimes. And it's got a nasty underbite. Yes, that, that is, you're absolutely right. It has a pretty nasty underbite. But it doesn't have big teeth. It, it's not uh, ferociously looking. And it has this long snout. Uh, and the particular of it that is absolutely interested and that fascinated me were these huge scales. And these huge scales, at the same time, they, they are fairly thick and, and they're very tough. And yet they're flexible. They flex with the body. Mm -hmm. And so the fluid dynamics is perfect. If they don't, uh, don't don't interfere with the flow and with the movement of the fish. So uh, you say huge scales. Like how big are we talking about? Uh, I'm talking about uh, five six inches each per, scale per in, scale in a, in a very large fish. And and how large is a large fish of this of this type? Uh, they, they can go up to. I've seen pictures of fish up to to nine feet, but the ones that usually are found in the rivers, they can go up to eight feet easily. Okay. Wow. And, yeah. So these scales are so amazing to you because they're really tough. Like piranha can't get through them is what I understand. That's right, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, what is it that, that makes these scales so hard? Is it what they're made of? It's how they're arrayed on the fish? The size of the scales is what makes them hard, you know. The thickness and the way that it's structured, it has the inside of the scale is, is like a composite. It's made out of collagen in different layers and layered in different uh, uh, orientations. So the inside is fairly flexible. Mm -hmm. But the surface of this scale has a, is highly mineralized. Not only it's mineralized, but it, it forms ridges. It forms like a zigzag pattern. So that enables the scale to flex. It can flex and it, is, it can be hard in the outside and, and tough in the inside and at the same time flexible. So. So we are looking at it as, as a model for, for, let's say, a ceramic, uh, a flexible ceramic. Okay, now how have you been testing it? I've been testing it by different techniques. I use the uh, mechanical testing, tension. We use uh, compression testing. We use nano indentation. We use micro indentation. And then we use characterization by, by scanning electron microscopy, by optical microscopy. We check it pretty thoroughly. Now, so, so what are the potential applications for human use? Well, I would see the following. I, one one uh, application that, that we thought of would be to create flexible armor for, for, for soldiers. Number two may be for, 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 for uh, fuel cells, uh, fuel cell applications. And number three, uh, everywhere you need a ceramic that at the same time has to have some flexibility. So it's, it's, it's a, what is called a graded material where you start very hard at the surface and then go as you go inwards, it becomes uh, softer. But the animal has solved this problem of the interface by creating this ridge. The ridge structure actually minimizes the stresses at the interface. Hmm. First, I have to be able to, 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 to reproduce what nature does, and that's not an easy feat. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm in contact with funding agencies to, to give me uh, funding so that I can try to synthesize these scales uh, using uh, uh, um, laboratory techniques. I understand uh, this fish is delicious. Uh, the fish is considered in the Amazon 
one of the best eating fish. It's fished commercially, and they make, they dry it, and then they sell it, and it's called the cod of the Amazon. And this fish actually enabled a lot of the Amazon exploration because it was practically the only source of food that, that many people had, explorers had, because it, it was preserved. Now, it was salted. Uh, what does it taste like? And don't say chicken. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. I've eaten the, it fresh, and after you catch it fresh, it, it has a very delicate flavor. Uh, the color is pink, light and pink. It's, it has a consistency. It's, it's firmer than salmon and trout, and uh, it's very good. You must need a pretty tough knife to prepare it. No, 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 not, <laughs> not at all. No, it, it come, it's beautiful. Once you take that, that, those scales off, you have this absolute uh, pinkish meat and huge, enormous fillets. Fascinating research, and yeah. you tell about it very well. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure to talk with you. You're welcome. Kate. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Then. Mark Myers is a distinguished professor of materials science at USC San Diego. He is studying the skin of a South American fish called the arapaima. arapaima sorry. We reached him in San Diego. You've been listening to the As It Happens podcast. Our show can be heard Monday to Friday on CBC Radio 1, following The World at 6. You can also listen to the whole show on the web. Just go to cbc.ca slash AIH and follow the links to our online archive. Thanks for listening. I'm Helen Mann. And I'm Jeff Douglas. Looking for more CBC podcasts? Go to cbc.ca slash podcast a slash podcast.